Um, with Senator Baucus opposing the public option, what do you think the prospects are for having a strong bill with a public option? And what could we here, we're, we're or, this is an organizing forum, what could we do to <coughs> encourage or defend that option should be that, that be in the bill? Um, Senator Baucus hasn't opposed it, but he's, but he's clearly been less, less big on it than other, than other folks have. Its champion in the Senate is gonna be Senator Kennedy. And when the, when the, when Senator Kennedy's committee comes out with its report, I'm sure they will have much more to say about it. Um, what can we do? You know, it's, it, 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 a lot of it comes down to rhetoric. And when the public plan is described as the government takeover of the healthcare system, its popularity falls. When it's described as the choice that individuals should be allowed to have, then nobody can understand why they shouldn't be allowed to have it. What I would recommend is, in addition to, it, just to highlight some of the things that were said, every single time you read a, a newspaper story where someone is saying, you know, this is a government takeover, and you read it online, write a blog response, write a response to it. It has to be, you know, let me give you let me let me let me give you an example. Um, in the recovery bill, in, in the, the stimulus bill that passed, um, th th there was you remember this site about effectiveness research, which is should we do money to figure out whether newer drugs are better than older drugs or just more expensive? And that was the sort of first skirmish of this war. It was attacked by people as being, you know, the government coming in between you and your doctor and all of this other garbage and so on. And there was that outroar, but then there was an equally strong outcry the other way of people saying, what's wrong with me knowing what works? <laughs> what's wrong with my doctor having more information about it? And why should I trust these interest groups to say, oh sure, I don't need this? That fact led members of Congress, led reporters to say, you know what? We just shouldn't give those such credence. And in the end, it stayed, it got passed. Same thing with the s -chip bill. It got passed because there, were an, there was enough of a sentiment that people weren't buying it. And that's what's gonna be vital here, making it clear that people can't buy the rhetoric. Look at the Frank Luntz memo about healthcare. There's nothing substantive. It's all about the only way you'll win is to describe this as a government takeover. It doesn't actually have any fact about anything. It doesn't actually say anything, it's just that's the language. And language matters a lot here. And the way we get out the language, not just <coughs> we being the president and Senator Kennedy and so on, but the way ordinary citizens get out the language is going to matter.